So I just felt immediately that I knew these characters. I just know the character of Lou. I can feel where she comes from. I, I get her and her family. Um, and similarly, Will Trainer. I feel like, not quite that I was at school with him, but I was probably at university with him. Um, I certainly know a lot of people who are very close to him. Um, you know, they are both types, very, very archetypal British types. Um, and there's a comfort in that. And I think Jojo has really created um, very recognizable people. That's a very, as I say, it's a very sort of comforting thing if that's your world. So, and I think if it's not your world, it's also, it's fascinating and it has a slightly, I th for me, that's where the fairy tale kind of begins. So you have these two very, very different characters. Um, but for me, it was the familiarity of those, of those two. Louisa Clark is 26 and has never really seen the world. She's a very, very content, happy young thing. Um, that she has her boyfriend, Patrick, she has her job in the bakery, and, um, you know, she doesn't assume much. She doesn't think uh, that, I, I think she doesn't need much else. She's, a, like I said, she's a very happy, content thing. Um, but that changes, that changes in the course of the film and her journey from, you know, somebody who is always quite eccentrically dressed, not so much so that it's making a statement as she walks down the street, but just enough that actually you realize no one else you know owns any of those shoes or any of those garments. Um, you know, she, she's, she's an incredibly caring person. She'll do anything for everybody else before her. Um, she's very funny and um, incredibly warm, generous, per you know, a, a really sweet, but very, very closed in terms of life experience. Um, and, you know, she, she undergoes a transformation throughout the film and it's a, it's a joy to watch. We finally had whittled it down to six girls and six boys who came in and we did chemistry reads together. Um, <clears throat> and she got off the plane from uh, America and came straight into Spotlight to meet us. And I had half an hour with her before the first guy came in and she was gonna read with him. And she walked in and she said, do you want me to do the first scene? And I said, yeah, sure, sure, not a will scene. And it was unbelievable. It was just like, literally, like Lou Clark had walked into the room. And I remember secretly texting the producer and I just said, we found her. There's no question, the energy was exactly right. Um, she was perfect. The most difficult thing was, of course, making sure that the chemistry was there, um, which is why, so we went down the path of getting as many single, uh, so we did boys and girls at the same time, but we never put them together until, as I say, we whittled it down to six of each, and then we brought them in and everybody read with everybody because the chemistry was the most important thing. It's the most important thing that carries the entire movie. And without that, you, you don't have, there's no way we could tell the story. Um, so that was the decider. It was as soon as they met, again, the casting director and I looked at each other and we knew that we'd found the right pair. It's strangely physical in a weird way, you know, because actually, although you're not allowed to use your body, he had to be aware of his body every second of every take and make sure that he was not using it in the way that he had to, if you see what I mean. So it made him, and, and we learnt very quickly through spending quite a lot of time with physios about how he had to engage his body in order to hold the position that needed to that he needed to be in. So it's not like he wasn't using it. 